Hey YouTube, I'm back for another video. Today we're going to be talking about tick prevention. And there are some things that you can do to help yourself not get ticks. So if you're going to if you know you're going to be in areas where there's ticks, there are some things you can do. You can take your sock and simply pull it up over your pant legs. This may look a little bit ridiculous, but what it does is it keeps the ticks from accessing your legs and crawling up your legs. It is not going to stop them from getting on your clothes, but it will stop them from at least getting to your legs. You can use things like DEET, oil of lemon, um, eucalyptus, and other things that might help deter ticks. Remember, DEET is a chemical. Oil of lemon, eucalyptus, um are natural things that you can get that will help keep them off you. If you are in areas where you think there might be ticks, always inspect your clothes. So that's the first thing you're going to do when you get to your car. Give yourself a look over. Check your pant legs. Ticks do not drop out of trees. So it's important that you check your clothes. We, I went out hiking with my nephews one time, and I ended up with at least 10 ticks on my pant legs. Now, here's the thing. I rolled up my socks. Did not have ticks on my legs. Or on the inside of my legs. You know what I mean. Um, they were all on my pants. Which is a good thing. Um, another thing you can do is once you get home, you want to take off your clothes, preferably in the bathroom, um, and you want to shower. Now, before you shower, you want to take your clothes that you had on, and you want to stick them in the dryer for 10 minutes on high heat. That should kill the ticks. The next thing you want to do is get dressed, of course. Um, check your gear and your pets for ticks. The next thing that you want to do is you want to shower using hot water. And then you want to check your body, especially in the following places. Armpits, in and around your ears, in your belly button, in your hair, around your scalp, your groin, between your legs, and finally, around your waist. These are areas where ticks are most likely going to be. For if you want to protect your pets from ticks, you should talk to your vet. Um, you should also know about what diseases are in your area that ticks might carry. You want to check your pets every day, especially if they're going outside. Remember, symptoms may not show up in your pets for 7 to 21 days after a tick bite. So, important that you do that. Another thing you can do is reduce tick habitat in your yard. I know winter is coming and a lot of ticks aren't going to be around, which is a good thing. But, why not get ready now? So, the first thing you want to do is you want to... I really don't recommend this, but... You can remove leaf litter. Clear off tall grasses. If you have tall grass in your yard or brush around your home or along the side of your lawn, you may want to get rid of it. Another thing you can do is lay down mulch and do a three-foot barrier between your lawns and any wooded areas that might be around your house. And that's and the other things I've suggested should help you keep ticks away. This is Nature Guy X46. We have been at 30 subscribers for a while now. I want to thank you for that. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Click that notification bell so you never miss another video. And give it a like and all of that helps me grow my channel friday's video is going to be talking about the lone star tick 
Are you sure? Sorry, I'm gonna yawn. Um, but no, seriously. Um, next week's... Sorry. The... Video for next... For Friday is the Lone Star Tick. That is our organism of the week. Um, hopefully I will have a new drawing, some other stuff to go with it. Also, our my live for Saturday is going to be questions. So if you have questions that you want to ask me, feel free to post them in the comment section. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. So with that, I will let you go. Good night.